Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Hi guys! In this video, I will teach you how to answer age problems using algebra. So, gagamitin natin ito to solve basic to advanced problems. But before we proceed to this video's lesson, um, I would like to invite you guys to join my Facebook group if you want. It's for college entrance test takers. Okay, so the link is on the description box below. Salamat! Mary is 4 years older than Sue. Sue is X years old. If the sum of their ages is 16, how old is Mary and Sue? So first, gumawa muna tayo ng table ng current ages ni Mary and Sue. Since Sue is X years old, ang ilalagay natin dito is X. Mary is 4 years older than Sue. 4, so we will write 4. Older, so ibig sabihin, plus 4. Meaning, ia-add natin ang 4 sa age ni Sue. So here we will write 4 plus X. The sum of their ages is 16. Ibig sabihin, kapag in natin ang 4 plus X and X, we will get 16. So, ilipat natin yung 4 sa kabila, we will get x plus x is equal to 16 minus 4. Simplifying this, we will get 2x is equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 2, we will get x is equal to 6. So, Sue is 6 years old. While well, Mary is 4 plus x or 4 plus 6, that's equal to 10. So, our final answer is, Sue is 6 years old while Mary is 10 years old. Lisa is 16 years younger than Kathy. If the sum of their ages is 30, how old is Lisa? So first, gumawa muna tayo ng table ng current ages ni Lisa and Kathy. So since 16 years younger si Lisa, magsasubtract tayo from Kathy's age ng 16. I-assign naman natin ang age ni Kathy as X. So dito, lalagay natin X. Sa age naman ni Lisa, we'll write X minus 16. So actually, in problems like this, pwedeng i-assign natin na yung age ni Lisa is x, tapos si Kathy naman is x plus 16. Whichever yung mas madali sa inyong intindihin, as long as consistent kayo throughout the problem. Since the sum of their ages is 30, if we add x minus 16 plus x, that would be equal to 30. So we'll have x plus x, transfer negative 16 on the other side, that's equal to 30 plus 16. Simplifying, 2x is equal to 46. Then divide both sides by 2, we will get x is equal to 23. So since Lisa's age is x minus 16, 23 minus 16 is equal to 7. Our final answer is, Lisa is 7 years old. Tina has a son named Mike. Tina is 27 years old. Three years ago, Tina was four times as old as her son was. How old is Mike now? So sa problem naman na ito, meron na tayong dalawang time elements. We have yung now and then three years ago, which we will write as negative three. So gumawa muna tayo ng table. Tina is 27 years old. So isusulat natin dito, 27. Since we don't know Mike's age, sulat natin ito as x. So now let's complete the table. 3 years ago, ang age ni Tina should be 27 minus 3. So that's equal to 24. Kay Mike naman, since ang age niya now is x, 3 years ago, his age should be x minus 3. So paano natin masasolve sa x? Let's go back to the problem. So 3 years ago daw, Tina was 4 times as old as her son. So ibig sabihin, ito ang relationship ng age nila 3 years ago. So we can work with this. Let's convert this statement into figures or into an equation. 3 years ago, si Tina is 24 years old. 4, so pag ginawa natin siyang figure, that's gonna be number 4. Her son's age 3 years ago is x minus 3. Okay, this time, ano naman yung operations involved? When we say Tina was 4 times as old as her son, Another way para sabihin ito is, Tina's age is equal to 4 times as old as her son was. Times meaning we will multiply. Ano yung multiply natin? 4 and x minus 3. So writing it in equation form, 24 is equal to 4 times x minus 3. 
So, divide both sides by 4, we will get 6 is equal to x minus 3. Lipat natin yung negative 3 on the other side, we will get 6 plus 3 is equal to x. Simplifying, 9 is equal to x. So, since dito, x is Mike's age now, our final answer is 9. Eric is 10 years younger than Jason. In 6 years, Jason will be twice as old as Eric. What are their present ages? So, meron tayo ng age nila now, and meron din tayo ng age nila in 6 years. So, katulad sa ginawa natin sa previous problems, gagawa muna tayo ng table. So, since Eric is 10 years younger than Jason, i-assign natin ang current age ni Jason as X. So, since Eric is 10 years younger, yung age niya ngayon should be X minus 10. So, ilagay natin to sa table. So, since ang age ni Eric ngayon is x minus 10, in 6 years, it should be x minus 10 plus 6, which is just equal to x minus 4. So, kay Jason naman, x, in 6 years, it should be x plus 6. So, para masolve natin yung x, balikan natin yung problem. In 6 years, Jason will be twice as old as Eric. Katulad sa ginawa natin sa previous problem, gamitin natin ang statement nito to create an equation. So, in 6 years, ang age ni Jason is x plus 6. Ang kay Eric naman is x minus 4. So, anong operations involved? Since Jason's age will be twice as old as Eric, so, ibig sabihin, kung ano man ang age ni Jason, this should be equal to 2 times nung kay Eric. So, we will have x plus 6 is equal to 2 times x minus 4. Distribute 2, we will get x plus 6 is equal to 2x minus 8. Ilipat natin ang x sa kabilang side and ang negative sa kabilang side. We will get 6 plus 8 is equal to 2x minus x. Simplifying this, we have 14 is equal to x. Ang present age ni Jason is 14 years old. Para makuha naman natin ang kay Eric, x minus 10, that's equal to 14 minus 10, which is equal to 4. So Eric is 4 years old. This is our final answer. Kat is 25 years younger than her father. Her father's age 4 years ago is twice her age in 3 years. How old is Kat and her father now? So, concerned tayo sa present age nilang dalawa, 4 years ago or negative 4, and their ages in 3 years or positive 3. So, gawa muna tayo ng table. Let's say, ang age ng dad is X. Since Kat is 25 years younger than her father, Kat's age should be x minus 25. Her father's age 4 years ago. Ibig sabihin, sa negative 4 na column, concerned lang actually tayo sa age ni father. Pagdating naman sa positive 3 column, her age in 3 years. So, ibig sabihin, concerned lang tayo sa age ni Kat. So, since yung edad ni Kat now is x minus 25, her age in 3 years should be x minus 25 plus 3 which is equal to x minus 22. Ang age naman ni father now is x. So, 4 years ago, it should be x minus 4. Now, let's convert this statement into an equation form. Father's age 4 years ago, which is x minus 4. Her age in 3 years, which is x minus 22. Since father's age 4 years ago is or equal to twice her age in 3 years, multiply natin ang x minus 22 by 2. So, we will have this equation. x minus 4 is equal to 2 times x minus 22. I-distribute natin ang 2, we will get x minus 4 is equal to 2x minus 44. Ilipat natin ang x and ilipat din natin ang negative 44. We will get 44 minus 4 is equal to 2x minus x. Simplifying this, we will have 40 is equal to x which is yung age ng dad. How old is Kat? That's x minus 25 or 40 minus 25, which is equal to 15 years old. This is our final answer. When I was born, my father was 41 years old. Eight years ago, he was three times as old as I will be in five years. How old am I? Dahil ang tanong is how old am I, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-consider ang present or ang now. We also have 8 years ago or negative 8 and in 5 years or positive 5. So, gawin natin yung table. So, i-assign natin ang present age ko as x. 
When I was born, my father was 41 years old. So, ibig sabihin, nung zero pa yung age ko, yung father ko is 41 years old. So, mas matanda siya ng 41 years old. So, ang present age ng dad should be X plus 41. 8 years ago, he was. So, sa negative 8 column, concerned lang tayo sa age of my father. As I will be in 5 years. So, pagdating naman sa positive 5 column, concerned lang tayo sa age ko. So, since ang age ko ngayon is X, in 5 years, it should be X plus 5. Since ang present age ng father ko is X plus 41, 8 years ago, his age should be X plus 41 minus 8, which is equal to X plus 33. So, para masolve ang X, i-translate natin ito into equation form. So, 8 years ago, his age was X plus 33. I will be in 5 years, that would be x plus 5. So 8 years ago, ang age niya was or equal to 3 times, meaning multiply natin ang x plus 5 by 3. So ang equation natin is x plus 33 is equal to 3 times x plus 5. I-distribute natin ang 3, we will get x plus 33 is equal to 3x plus 15. Lipat natin ang x sa other side at ang 15 sa other side. We will get 33 minus 15 is equal to 3x minus x. Simplify natin, 18 is equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2, we will get 9 is equal to x. So our final answer is, I am 9 years old.